Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're going to be looking at how to make desktop actions and we're going to be looking at the clear list action. So what is the clear list action? Well, the clear list action allows you to remove all items from a list. Now, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to clear a list of items? Well, let's say you create a list. So let's move on to the create a list, which is another action we're going to be looking at. It creates a placeholder variable for a list. And this allows you to add items. So let's say you add items during your journey of your flow and you cycle through those items and then you need to collect more items in another list. But you're never going to use that initial list again after you've cycled through it. Well, rather than creating an entirely new variable to create another list of items, you can simply clear the list and repopulate it. You can reuse your variable. So you don't have to have an untold number of variable lists of um, items. You can just have the one and you can clear it and reuse it. So this is why you would use clear lists. So let's actually take a look at what it looks like when you add it to your flow. When you first add it, you're going to see this and it's going to essentially have one parameter that you can change, which is your list to clear. Now, essentially, you're going to select the list. You're going to pick the list that you want to clear. And that's it. You'll then hit save. And what that's going to do then is when this action um, triggers, it's going to clear any items within that list. So let's take a look at that on Power Automate Desktop. Okay, so I'm on Power Automate Desktop and what we're firstly going to do is we're going to create a new list. We'll just call this example list. And then I'm going to add a couple of items to it. So firstly, I'm going to add Flow Joe and I'm going to select uh, my variable list and select example list. And now I've got this created. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do Control C, Control V a couple of times. Um, so I'm duplicating it and I'll just rename one to Jax and one to Meg. So now I have a list being created called Example List and I'm adding Flojo, Jax and Meg. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this so we can see the list being generated. So on the right hand side, you see flow variables. If I just open up that, you can see there's flow Joe, Jax and Meg. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the clear list action. And I'm going to then select the variable of example list. For save. I'm going to put a breakpoint there and I'm going to run this. Then we're going to generate the list. So we, you can see here, we've got our list of Flo, Joe, Jax, and Meg. And then I'm going to run the next step, which is to clear the list. And now if I open up this, you can see we've got an empty list of example list with no items in it. And that is how easy it is to clear a list on Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.